What's going on everybody? My name is Rev and welcome back to another Dauntless video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to honestly secure any break that you're going to possibly need in Dauntless. Um, going over a very, very uh, simple mechanic in the game uh, that are brought on by Cells, Bladestorm, and, uh, and Crit. And I know a lot of people like running cunning because uh, it's not Predator and... Um, it's not seen as like the best damage, but it's actually really, really good for breaking parts, especially on the sword. And I'm going to tell you why. And, and so the whole point of Bladestorm is after dodging through an attack, your next attack deals plus 400 part damage. So that plus 400 part damage is what we're, uh, what we're looking for, excuse me. Um, and on top of that, we have something, uh, it's a later mod in i believe it's unlocked at like level 10 or level 8 uh on the sword called reactive hilt it doesn't take too long to get reactive hilt um it, but it is very very good for amplifying a singular hit that might have blade storm procced on it and so this is why we're using reactive hilt as opposed to say momentum pommel whistling blade or or whatever some some like more um higher damaging mods and so the goal of this build is just to amplify a singular hit and we're just gonna cut the shroud tail in real time and see how long it takes. Now we, furthermore, we have the Drass Eye, which is something that we're gonna proc once we're ready to uh, hit the shroud tail. And, um, and if you're wondering why I'm going for shroud tails, it's because it's currently bugged. Um, during before shroud enrages the hitbox is just fine but after it enrages it goes next to impossible to hit and so i want to kind of show how to secure the tail uh either before or immediately after it goes impossible to hit and so we're going to do it in real time uh we have our tonics i am going to be using tonics you don't necessarily need to but it's if you're going for the most efficient kills possible you're going to be uh, running tonics and this is the perfect move to dodge to get blade storm proc when your blade is orange that is when uh blade storm is on and you want to just throw it onto the tail reza um weapons are very good at securing parts because they have a, the opportunity to double attack 10 percent chance and um they also have cunning innate on them ow I'm going to look for a move to dodge. That one actually double attacked, which is very nice. I'm going to dodge, roll through the legs, cut the tail here, get a little bit of damage in. It's almost actually done already. I'm going to dodge that. That hit the leg, unfortunately. Now, I don't have any extra damage cells other than cunning here. So some well-placed attacks is going to secure the tail very, very quickly. Didn't manage to dodge that, unfortunately. Here we go. We got a full setup. Nice. And that's the tail. We could alt F4 right now if we wanted to, right? Um, like we can, we could leave right now if we wanted to. But uh, if we're looking to finish the hunt, uh, which we are, and I want to talk a little bit about the uh, the hitbox if I can get it to enrage. But again, while it's enraging, we don't have a lot of damage on us. It's just utilizing braid, braid, a blade storm uh, in a, in a, at an effective capacity. Classic me getting clapped immediately. Um, so if you're uh if you're playing on pc this is probably going to be pretty hard to do on console but if you jump here and swing on the tail the hitbox is still available um obviously the tail is cut so i mean i'm not going to be able to accurately do it but just as an added tip if the tail isn't off by the time you enrage by it in by the time it enrages you're going to be able to jump and hit it it's very difficult and uh it's not fun by any stretch of the imagination but it is still achievable for uh those um highly dedicated so i want to just give that little bit of information 
Uh, as an added bonus, I want to go over how to break Reza limbs uh, effectively as well. So here in this build, you can see um, the same concept is still being applied. We have Bladestorm, we have Conduit, and we have Cunning. Conduit's just kind of like an added bonus that makes it look nice. But the main two, like the two things to take away from this are Bladestorm and Cunning are very good at synergizing uh, with this particular uh, playstyle, or like in this case, Reactive Hilt. Now, I want to take a note, and this is definitely worth noting. You don't need to play the sword to break parts effectively. You can play the axe. You could run sharpen plus six. Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I just want to solidify the fact that just dodge an attack and put an attack on the part that you want with blade storm or, um, or sharpened proct on it. That's it. That's the old, that's all you got to do to get some really nice part breaks. So we're going to try and break one of Reza's arms in real time. And I'm just going to use a Frenzy Tonic because they're uh, nice. And I guess we'll, since we hit this one, we'll hit the uh, left arm. So that ground slam is perfect for landing a, uh, a cut. Actually, I just got a, uh, I got a nice crit on the other claw as well. Maybe we'll just go for both. I don't know. The sword is really nice for positioning the the breaks in a way uh or like the angle that the attacks come in go really nicely with like shroud's tail and other claws rest is afk attack me please all right um we're gonna dodge through here i don't know if this procs blade storm apparently not Now, breaking parts in a party versus breaking parts in a group, it's a lot harder and it's going to require more focus. I highly recommend trying to do it solo. If you can't, maybe try with like two people and then try with three if you two can't do it. You know, like figure out what works best for you. But um, breaking parts is always going to be easiest when uh, the monsters are going for you right uh you're gonna be able to dodge more consistently and um that's just kind of the way it is reza's claws take a little bit more effort um i think the axe is honestly the best for breaking reza's limbs but i just wanted to stay consistent with the sword didn't want to throw any loops in in the mix notice how i'm not like sticking to um just rolling attacks all the time right like i'm, I'm dpsing like normal but when the opportunity is arising i'm definitely rolling and there's one limb and we've also broken the head as like an added bonus but you can see that we're definitely breaking parts and uh, honestly reza isn't even close to dead but we don't want it to die before um we get the part breaks that that we want that was some good damage right there gonna oh i got hit by the uh enrage burst unlucky but anyway you guys get the idea um hopefully this video helped you in some way um it, it's it's gonna be useful for malcarian it's gonna be useful for honestly any behemoth uh i hope it helps uh, keep in mind that you don't need to play the sword, but you can play whatever you want. Just use Bladestorm and Sharpen in an efficient way and smart way, and you'll have no problem getting the uh, part breaks that you need. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you on the Shattered Isles.